If you want to treat your acid reflux, then you first need to figure out what's causing it. And one potential cause is not having enough stomach acid. This is generally very confusing for people because it's assumed that too much stomach acid causes acid reflux, but that's not the case. One of the many amazing things that stomach acid does is causes a reflexive closure of the lower esophageal sphincter. And when that muscle is closed, you don't get acid reflux. When you have low stomach acid, that muscle can relax a little bit and allow those gastric juices to bubble up into the esophagus and you get that acid reflux. And you might be surprised to learn that having not enough stomach acid is far more common than having too much stomach acid. We generally produce less stomach acid as we age, but stress and stressful eating can also cause this, and even malnutrition can result in low stomach acid production. And there are many other potential causes as well. But if you suspect you have low stomach acid and you want to try to do something about it, then a few simple things that you can do is before you eat, sit down, take a few breaths, smell the food, think about the food, relax relax, and then start eating. We don't digest when we're all jacked up, so you gotta make sure you bring the energy down when you eat. You can also supplement with digestive bitter formulas. That bitter taste stimulates the body to produce stomach acid. And you can also use various acid-supporting supplements. And you can find my favorite supplement called Gastracid in the link in my bio, which contains a bitter herb along with some acid support. But you have to be careful with this because if there's some other reason that the lower esophageal sphincter is not closing appropriately, then supplementing with acid can actually make things worse. But really, you should definitely be working with a doctor on all of this stuff. Don't try to do it on your own.